What's up guys, Chase with IDub Hockey, hanging out with Skylar from Tour Hockey here at the rinks in Huntington Beach. Now we have your new line of skates in front of us. Before we start talking tech and spec, how would you describe the fit profile? The yeah, fit pro profile is going to be a mid-volume fit, which means it's going to be pretty versatile to a wide range of players out there. Well, let's hop into this new 1.1, the top of line skate. First thing I noticed was just the big jump in stiffness and also the extremely anatomical ankle pads inside. So how are you able to accomplish that this year? Yeah, we wanted to revisit that and make it a little bit of a stiffer skate. So we looked into our uh, Vorak technology and that's going to offer that Vorak carbon outer that's going to give you that strength, durability, as well as the stiffness that you need in a high, high performance skate. And then on the inside, we have a uh, medium or multi-density ankle pads and uh, just reshaped. But uh, as far as the liner goes, working with that, what, what do we find there? Yeah, you hit it right there, the nail on the head. You know, that multi-density really gives a lot more comfort and more of an anatomical fit, um, as you, you mentioned. Uh, you're going to be able to notice the moisture wicking technologies within that liner. Uh, and then overall comfort it has definitely been brought up with that L-shaped ankle pocket. Mm -hmm. And then working with that liner to wick away moisture, keep it cool, uh, can you talk about the instep a little bit? Yep, that uh, instep honeycomb feature is definitely going to help you cool off that foot during those hot summer days or even in those tournaments, those long tournament days also. When pulling it out, you're going to be able to dry out that skate that much quicker. And especially on those long days, comfort is something that you have to have. So uh, that new footbed's really cool and going to help out with that. So can you touch on that a bit? Yeah, we call that the Psycho Wave Fit. Uh, it's going to be a little bit different than what players are used to, but it's going to offer some comfort support, uh, something a little different from everything else that's out there on the market. And comboing up with that, you're also looking at that arc tongue technology that we, we continued with. It's going to have a nice comfort feel, anti-lace bite features, as well as going to fill some void in that toe box where you, you find. And it's it's nice because it's com it's customizable. If you want to have that tongue moved up a little bit to give yourself a little bit more flop, that's available too. If you want to sink it back down in there, have it a little bit more of a comfort fit and take up some more space in that toe box, that's also an option. So that's a nice little adjustable piece on that high-end skate. And then moving down to the lowers, um, what can you tell me about the outsole and then maybe kind of wheels and uh, frame you're rocking? Yeah, that outsole is a nice carbon outsole. Uh, and of course, we're going to stick with our DPS low boy technology because uh, we really feel that with our all 80 technology uh, chassis here, you're able to get over on those edges better and have a lot more control than you would with um, some of the other competitors out there. Beyond that, of course, we're going to have our Bevo Swiss bearings. Mm -hmm. It's going to keep you rolling nice and fast and have a nice clean spin. And last but not least would be that Lebeda addiction wheel, which, as you know, is going to keep you gripping and ripping on the floor all tournament long. And then let's say that you want elite level performance like you're getting in this, but maybe at a little more generous price point, yep. um, you're going to want to look at the 2.1. So what are a couple of real cool carryover features that we're going to find that really make this skate stand out? Yep. Carryover features on this, I mean, I like to call it the pro and below, right? So it's for your pro level player, that pro level sniper, all the way down to the men's league hero and everybody in between. Uh, you want something that's going to be in a f at a price that's not going to hit your wallet too hard, but those carryover features, we're not lacking. Definitely you're going to see that Vorak quarter panel construction that's going to give you that same stiffness rigidity that you're looking for in a performance skate. Uh, we've gone in the same thing and you're getting that tongue. It's not going to be as, just, as adjustable here, mm -hmm. but you do have those anti-lace bite features with it as well as that liner. That liner is going to be high density foam. That high density liner is going to keep it nice and comfortable and like we t discussed about that anatomical fit. It's going to really help keep things comfortable along with that AccuAir moisture wicking technology working in conjunction with that same honeycomb instep as seen on the higher level skate. It's going to allow you to get that airflow as well as the uh, quick drying features. And then to finish this off, what are we going to find for the lowers? What we're going to find on the lowers, 80 millimeter chassis, that DPS low boy technology that we're so famous for, give you that control and speed. The interesting thing here is we're working with our new chemistry cyclonium wheel. It's going to give you a nice comfort, uh, nice combination of grip and speed, as well as on the inside, you're going to get some of those race nine Bevo bearings. So giving you that great glide and then that great indoor performance with the, uh, with the new wheels, huh? Yeah, the new wheels are definitely going to, you know, be a difference maker for our skates. So now moving on to the 3.1, um, 
The biggest thing that I noticed was just how anatomical this boot is right out of the box and also how anatomical the ankle pocket is. So how are we able to achieve that uh, at this price point? Yeah, we wanted to get creative with the skate and make sure that we can offer all those high-end features, but at a price that is attainable for most, right? So we are able to do that with our quarter panel package. Um, it's gonna be a lightweight core flex material. And then the we're gonna use a sculptured air pressure molding technology in order to, to accomplish that. Um, and then internally, we're gonna move in and give that a nice single density foam and an L-shaped ankle pocket that's really gonna surround the foot increasing and, and continuing with that anatomical type fit. And then uh, just to even help expedite that break-in process, these are heat moldable too, right? Of course, yeah, they're gonna be heat moldable and you know, you combo that up with the, the materials and everything that's being used, it's really gonna give your comfort of the foot. And moving beyond that, actually, we're gonna use this nice tongue. We wanna make sure that we have a nice, comfortable tongue, help prevent some lace bite while also surrounding the foot with comfort. And then finishing that 360 fit, we'll go down with the bottom and we'll use a dual density footbed in order to accomplish this. And then it offers some uh, pretty incredible level of comfort at this price point compared to some of the competition. Um, so another thing that uh, you can notice too is that it comes in two different color options as well, which is yep. a really nice touch for that flashier player, someone maybe going with a little more traditional uh, look on that guy. And then moving on down to the lowers, what can you tell me about the chassis and these real exciting new wheels? Yeah, so moving down, we're gonna stay with our all 80 millimeter setup and inside bearings that we're going with is the Bevo 7 race style bearing. And finishing it off to give you that grip and speed is our new chemistry Grippium wheel. Now, if you're just getting into hockey or looking for a rec level skate, you're looking at the 5.1 or the 9.1, but what are a couple of real key features that really make these stand out against the competition? Uh, the 9.1, we want to make sure that we provide a skate where somebody is able to get into the game at a, a good price point and be comfortable. Also providing the stability that they need, but giving them some features that will really justify buying our skate over that competition. One thing that's definitely going to justify it would be that chemistry wheel. Um, this is that chemistry night on wheel, and that's going to give you a little bit of grip and speed that that entry level hockey player is looking for, as well as um, the nice comfort tongue. This is another pro level felt type tongue that we are offering in both of our entry level skates. And so maybe if you're looking for the edge, uh, you know, maybe looking to get into a little bit more competitive hockey, you're going to look at the 5.1. So uh, what makes that stand out? Yeah. So again, like we discussed already, you're going to have that comfort felt tongue. Um, but one difference that you're going to see is you're going to have that comfort edge liner here, as well as a little bit more padding on the inside on that pillow style padding. Last but not least, you're going to have that single construction chassis, as well as our chemistry magnum wheel. Right on, Skyler. Well, thanks for coming out here and filling us in. And then for you guys at home that want to check out more of these tour skates, make sure you go to inlinewarehouse.com.